Hello and welcome to our mini video series on creating one-page reports. My name is Lissa wilson Fetcho, and I'm here with my colleague Emma Perk. We work at Western Michigan University with the Evaluate Project, a evaluation resource center funded by the National Science Foundation. We're really excited to be here with you today to talk about creating one-page reports. So this is something that Emma and I feel really strongly about and are generally excited to share with other people. So before we start, let's talk about why should you even consider creating a one-page report. Well, I don't know about you, but I am pretty inundated with data and information on a daily basis. Between all of the emails I get in my inbox, to the news I consume, the articles I read, um, I even have a fitness tracker that <laughs> adds even more data into my daily life, right? So what does this have to do with those of us who create um, reports? Well, your readers, your stakeholders, your clients, they're most likely inundated with the same amount of information as we are. So your 50 page report that you hand them is just one more piece of paper on the piles of their desks. So you might consider creating an accompanying one page report for your full report. So what do we mean by a one page report, right? So we are talking about a single page document that summarizes key information. This information might be uh, survey data, it might be evaluation results, it might be project activities, and it could be a summary of the different grants you have. Uh, the important part is that these one-pagers are tailored towards a specific audience, right? So you know their vocabulary, you know the information that they are most interested in. And most importantly, Creating a one-page report to accompany your full document really helps uh, this information become more engaging and more accessible. You can use colors and pictures in order to really draw the attention of people who might not otherwise pick up a full report. But it also makes it more accessible, right? Ensuring that the most important information is most easily seen instead of trying to dig through pages of, of detailed information. So we have a few examples that we want to share with you about one-page reports. So these examples are really um, in order to spark your imagination on how you might use one reports in your own practice. So this first example of a one page report is from an actual annual survey done from a national program, the Advanced Technological Education Program. And as you can see, it's really just a simple data snapshot, but it has a really big title. You know it came from the Evaluate Project. It's counting the number of women students in the ATE project in 2016. And you can really easily compare across all these different um, categories of areas. But it's really just showcasing this one data report, which uh, is in the full page report, but something that you might not see because I think it's on page 45 or something. Here's another example of evaluation results that really um, point out was there significant change in these different domains of self-sufficiency areas. And it also highlights whether or not the program achieved some of its goals. So it's a really great summary of these results all on one page. So someone could really just take this one page and go talk to someone else in the organization about what's happening in this project. Here's another great example that doesn't necessarily use charts, but really follows all of that, uh, the aspects that we're going to talk about in these later videos using really mainly text. So this one comes from Columbus State Community College, and it's just summarizing the different project awards that they have. It has a really great uh, hierarchy, so we can tell really easily what's going on. It really draws you to, to learn more about the different projects that they have going on here. You know, this may sound silly, but you know, you could actually make a full report out of one page reports. So essentially, you know, you have all of the different data in there, but what the client can do is then pull different pages out for different uses. So really thinking about how to structure your entire report into one pagers is just a strategy for making sure that your data is most useful to the clients that it can possibly be. So we have a number of videos coming up that really talk about how to create the one page report. Emma and I, through our practice, have sat down and really tried to outline 10 steps that we think are really important in pulling a one page report together. Everything from defining the audience to, you know, different visual strategies to really draw your readers attention. So we also created a workshop to go worksheet to go along with that which walks through the different steps and can really help you get started on your own one pagers. So I hope you watch the rest of our videos and follow along.